let's move to match day match point number two and we are speaking of uh, Gujarat Lions lead bowler if we can call him that Andrew Tai is tying up the opposition forgive us if you didn't like that pun but he certainly solved a few problems first game that he came in picked up a hat trick three wicket hole vital in the last game against Bangalore three big wickets too uh, and just to uh, see some numbers for Andrew Tai uh, comparing him with the other Gujarat bowlers Average of 11, hat-trick and three-wicket hole last game, like I said, helped 6.6 .6 the economy. So he's certainly been the answer to some of Gujarat's questions. Ajit, uh, just to comment on Andrew Tai, what's he brought to this Gujarat Lions attack and why has he been as successful, uh, maybe if you compare him with bowlers across the tournament? 45 seconds. I mean, those numbers shows that he can bowl at any stage of the innings, which is always an advantage to have with any bowler. Uh, the one thing I liked about him in the previous game against RCB was he bowled, okay, those were cross seamers, but he hit the length, you know, just uh, because in the previous game we've seen him use a lot more of the slower balls, the knuckle ball, which, uh, which seems to be his strength in T20 cricket. And because he's tall, he naturally gets the dip uh, and is harder to pick as well, that ball. So, so it was nice to see him bowl good length balls uh, and get a couple of nicks, you know, with extra bounce because of how tall he is. So, he knows his bowling is game inside hmm. out which is always a key and you need one overseas guy to lead the attack. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, they dropped him in the middle after, even after mm. getting a fifer. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be doing that uh, anytime soon. He's, he's a real plus for them. Amazing how it happens to bowlers. That's minute 100 and you know no chance of dropping them, but poor fast bowlers. Let's look at where he's bowled. Ajit Agarkar alludes to the point that he ac can actually bowl at any phase. Economy of six in the power play, you take that middle overs 4.8, you'd certainly take that. And Sanjay Bangar 7.7 .7 at the death. Given how Gujarat have gone and given some of the, the other bowling attacks that we've seen through the course of the tournament, you may take 7.7 uh, .7 as an economy. Ty is successful wherever Raina uses him. 45 seconds for you. Yeah, as, uh, as Ajit said, uh, he was very impressive with the new ball and he hits the tech like most Aussie bowlers do because mm -hmm. in Australia, you, there's hardly anything. If you just float the ball up, yeah. it uh, you can get driven very, very easily. So, that's the hallmark of most Australian uh, bowlers that they hit the length really well. And the slower ball, why he is so good at the at the death is uh, when he bowls those uh, slower balls, which uh, somebody like a Zahir does at the at at the start, and somebody like uh, Andrew Tai does it at the lower end of the tournament. They don't really break the wrist. Yeah. The wrist actually stays firm, and hence it is very very difficult for the batsman to pick up any change of pace, and hence uh, the better economy rate. All right, great. So you've heard it for Andrew Tai. He should be big now, uh, coming against an informed batting lineup. That is the Mumbai Indians.